Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Democracy Free Africa as South Africa. Um, our expenditure... I can't believe we have a surplus. That's duly from the economy. The Liberals love me, the poor love me, the self in state employees love me, the socialists love me. Okay, I made a joke earlier in the series that I can't believe like the um, the Liberals and the Socialists and that don't like me. I mean, <laughs> look what I've been doing. And yeah, now they do love me. <laughs> the urban, yeah, they're getting there. The wealthy really don't like me. Uh, we've got no political power, so we will end. To... Oh, we've got a decision to make. Religious symbols in, ban religious symbols in schools. Wait, why did that create a deficit? Didn't we have a surplus before? What? I thought we had a surplus. It updated the GDP, which is down. Unemployment is down. Residential credit facilities. A new situation has developed. Citizens are able to consume with the use of a credit card a stable and lawful living. A stable and lawful lending environment. This has led to banks freely offering microloans. The poor don't like it, the capitalists like it. The banklet insurance and resident credit will drive spending the, and the economy. However, some citizens will find their debt becoming unmanageable driving them into poverty. I would ban these. This is um, pauper's prisons, isn't it? This has been caused by high stability, financial services regulations, our infrastructure, our technology. Crime actually stops this. I think this is a bad thing. Uh, it's supposed to help the GDP and help poverty. Okay. I saw this as no effect, and I'm like, well, if there's no effect, all this is doing is, you know, making the capitalists happier and not helping the poor. I, it does sound like pauper's prisons to me, though. I might be misreading it. Poverty is basically gone. I've killed poverty in, the <laughs> in an African country. Education is on the way up. Crime is pinned down. Health is on the way up. This is still with HIV, AIDS, and obesity. Uncompetitive economy is there. Gender inequality is still the worst thing. It's on the way down, though. Is it the global economy that's been affected? It's not what I want. relative GDP. Oh, that was like pinned below bottom. Interest rates. I haven't seen them. Global economy actually did dip a little bit. Our income shot up. Our expenditures stayed the same. But it said I had a... Oh no, I have a large surplus. Do I really lower the income tax to what it was? The middle income, the capitalists and the wealthy would like that more, but I've done a reasonable job at of getting them to like me by other means. I have money to spend. So I could do things... Disability benefit or clean energy subsidies. Space program. I have the money for a space program. <laughs> Technological grants. 
15 RMB. Right, first things first, space program. <laughs> space station. I want a South African space station, damn you. Uh, that's going to get rid of unemployment even more and get rid of religious people. <laughs> uh, the inequality, the, the gender inequality, if they change their religion so they don't hate women, then I can accept them. <laughs> oh, I don't have the, um... I, I can do a uh, clean subsidies as well. Which down on CO2 emissions, capitalism's don't like it, the environmentalists, yeah, environment up. I needed to fix the environment. I actually think I've got this sort of game at the minute now to a point where I'm playing as I would if I was one of the European countries, or one of the first world... See, I don't like them terms. <laughs> but like the first world countries, the, the normal democracy free game. Apart from I have HIV AIDS, which is just sticking around. All these things trying to kill it and I just can't kill it. Um, they're all ticking in. Generally speaking, education is just a good thing. I need something else to tackle that, though. Nothing I can really introduce. Foreign drug smugglers. A foreign individual claiming to be flying home after a holiday has been caught with a significant stash of drugs in their luggish. luggage. Flying home. Their own country has asked for them to be extradited to stand trial there. But there are calls for this criminal to remain here to be subject to our law. The crime was committed in our country and our people want to see the predator charged under the perpetrator charged under our justice system. Our punishment may be harsher than those in their home country, but this foreigner should have considered that before trying to smuggle drugs. They're trying to smuggle it out, out of the country. If I read that right. Individual claiming to be flying home after a holiday. Yeah, they're smuggling them out of our country. The strength of our relationship with, our for with foreigners with the foreigner's own country, uh, better they foot the bill. Yeah, screw it. Let them foot the bill. I need to deal with that debt. I don't want to spend too, too much. I, I've just spent loads, haven't I? Um, I, I, I? I need to deal with the debt. Wait a minute. Earlier in this video, you, you basically said, build me a goddamn space station. <laughs> um, the informal sector is basically dead. Agriculture efficiency is up and going up and up and up. A working week. Actually, I would like to reduce that. Uncompetitive economy. It's productivity, that. And again, what's hurting productivity mainly now is unemployment. I basically have no unemployment, so... Our health, our work safety laws, maternity leave. I need to find a way to increase production. But either way, that's the end of this e uh, not episode. Achievement unlocked. Filibustering. You certainly have the stamina for politics. You have been working away in your office for so long now that it's almost time to start the next day's work. Okay. Obesity is at an end. Yes, so health jumps up. Unemployment is basically low. Low corruption lauded. Okay, basically, because we have low corruption, we got a good thing. GDP has bounced back a little bit. Health is still on the way up. Poverty is basically none. Education has... I say stagnated. It hasn't gone up enough to show that it's going up, but it is going up. I think that same family planning is still ticking in. Uh, public libraries is still ticking in. University grants is still ticking in. Uh, 
we still have a surplus. 71% of the people would vote for me. We're not getting rid of the stock exchange at any point because we are so st stable, basically. Kills corruption, kills capitalism. Foreign investment, love it. International trade, loves it. Socialists, love it. Yeah. Actually, that, did that cost money? It did, but it's sod all. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I should probably should have done that a while ago. Right, the surplus that we have. We don't have much political capital. We gain 27 per turn, and we can actually get above 50 at the moment. So I think I'm going to call that a quick turn. Oh, there's the election meter. <laughs> Five turns till the election. <laughs> I've never not seen that the whole time. Right, education is up. Just ticking away, that's fine. University grants is slowly ticking in. Health is up. Poverty is zero. Crime is zero. Oh, basically zero. Yeah, no, pinned at zero. Poverty, pinned at zero. Unemployment has finally hit zero. GDP, on the other hand, is mm, sort of stable. Financial services is actually going to help. Foreign investment is pinned max. Tourism is pinned max. Gender inequality is still coming down, but I don't think I have anything else to do. I just have to sort of kill off the religious and the conservatives. And of course, on that note, that is where we're going to end. <laughs> I, I know um, CK2 can lead you to saying bad things, but it's amazing how many games in general. I was talking purely from a game mechanics point of view. The only way I was going to get rid of gender inequality, which is one of the things hurting my GDP, is to reduce the percentage of conservatives and religious. <laughs> that was said better. But like in the shot, and I just need to kill this category. I just need to kill these. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, that is all the time that we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.